Some of you may have seen or heard about the Kiss My Cajon protesters outside this year's NAM show, the National Association of Music Merchants Convention in Anaheim, California. The crowd was gathered in protest over the theft of an idea for an innovative musical invention called the Cajon Pedal. In 2011, two music professionals, Michelle Mangione and Steve Sost, invented a forward-facing, foot-operated pedal for a drum box percussion instrument called the Cajon. And I developed this pedal knowing what, what my people, what drummers, would need. The product was revolutionary in that it allowed a person sitting atop the Cajon to strike the Cajon with a foot pedal, opening up new opportunities for drum rhythms. Mangione and Sost filed for a provisional patent and in the summer of 2011 presented their idea in a corporate meeting at Guitar Center headquarters in Westlake Village, California. Among the Guitar Center employees at the meeting was Mark Nelson, then Vice President of Merchandise, Drums and Percussion. Nelson signed a non-disclosure agreement with Mangione and Sost representing Guitar Center. This non-disclosure agreement, or NDA, is a legal document protecting the inventor's idea from being profited off of by someone else. Guitar Center passed on the idea, but Nelson presented it to a colleague, Ked Fredenberg, percussion marketing director for KMC Music Incorporated, who owns Gibraltar Hardware, a large drum and percussion company. Fredenberg expressed interest in Mangione and Sos pedal invention for the Gibraltar line, and he too signed a non-disclosure agreement in the summer of 2011. By the fall of 2011, Nelson had moved into his current position as Senior Vice President of Global Percussion for KMC Music Incorporated, who owns Gibraltar. Mangione and So stopped receiving communication from Nelson and Fredenberg. Then in 2012, much to the surprise of the inventors, Gibraltar released an identical Cajon pedal for worldwide sale. At the 2013 NAM show, Gibraltar's Cajon pedal won a Best in Show award for best accessories and add-ons. And what they did was, in my opinion, what they did was they took my idea that Steve and I developed and presented to them, and they took one piece of it and they, they, they switched it, they released it. After learning their product was on the market without their consent, Mangione and Sost filed a lawsuit against Guitar Center, KMC Music Incorporated, Gibraltar Hardware, and Nelson and Fredenberg. The case is currently tied up in legal disputes over the validity of the non-disclosure agreement and is awaiting a court hearing. They're trying to squash this before it gets to a jury trial because we have so much evidence. But there are some technicalities. The confidentiality agreement was not stamped confidential on each page. They're saying if they can get that confidential agreement thrown out of court, then which would make the confidential agreement null and void, which would make us it's just ridiculous. Why are we even talking about that? What was that does that say we stole it but we stole it legally? And we would love for them to be accountable. And we're just asking people we're not we're not saying hey jump on our side. People say this happens every day. If this happened every day, if people got together and said no, this is not gonna happen, I don't believe that this solution would be happening every day. So you know, we just gotta stick together and um, have a voice and speak our, our truth. If this was your idea that was stolen and profited off of by large corporations, what would you do? How far would you go to protect your ideas? Musicians come up with some great stuff because we're out there in the field. We had to file this lawsuit because it was obvious. We cannot allow these greedy tactics by corporations to stifle the creativity and innovation of upcoming inventors, entrepreneurs, artists, and business people. It is the hard work and talent of all sections of society that drive our country forward. If we work together, we can balance the scales of progress by limiting the reach and influence of large, wealthy companies. We're asking people to A, boycott the Guitar Center, Gibraltar, KMC, which unfortunately has that percussion and toka and I mean, Sabian, um, a lot, they have a lot, they have Ovation, uh, Fender. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're asking people to boycott them and also to use social media we all have available to us to share this story. Um, if you, you know, if you feel it's worth it. And but please read on the website, uh, it has, all of the facts listed, and we encourage people to read the facts. Go decide for yourself.
Go to Mangione's website for more info on the story, michellemangione.com. To hear the story firsthand, contact Michelle Mangione at 949-923-0502 or by email at michelle at michellemangione.com. Post your responses in a comment below. You can contact Revolution News by emailing Phoenix Rising Studios at phoenixrising at revolutionist.com. Stay tuned to Revolution News for updates on the story.